This is the second in the series of films uh, introducing double CAD for users of AutoCAD Lite or AutoCAD or other 2D CAD packages. This is not intended as an introduction to newcomers, I'll be going too fast for that. It's really just to show you uh, the differences between the package you've been using in this one and where things are in this one. So this is useful for people who understand the terminology but if you're new to it I'll probably be going too fast as I say. At the end of the first uh, uh, film we ended up with a, a white screen like this and the, the three boxes that I would find the most useful to use out uh, and available and the main 2D drawing tools I used on what's called the local menu on the right click of my mouse. So let's go through. So again, if we need to uh, draw a box, we simply draw a box and that's how it is. Now, if I select that box now, down the bottom here, I've got an inspector bar. It tells me all about it. it tells me the scale. Well, it's, it's one because it's drawn the size that I wanted it. Uh, it tells me its size and I can change the size here so the Y 6.5 if I make it 3 uh, oh 36 sorry let me do that make it 3 you'll see a difference size Z well it's got no height position within the, in the screen if you're using coordinate systems you would use that but personally I don't Delta is simply moving it so Delta X if I type in 1 in Delta X it will move uh, 1 inch over to the right uh, when I hit return and rotations rotation and obviously it rotates around this yellow dot here which is the origin of the reference point editing changes yeah that's fine we don't care about it so we can see as things have changed um, the other way to uh, change things with this rectangle would be simply to uh, to select a rectangle and then in selection information it becomes live and this will give me information about the rectangle I've chosen. Uh, it tells me the size, the, it tells me its area, perimeter area, uh, general stuff about it, what layer it's on etc. So I can change, I can put, give it a fill from here if I want to, hatchback, like click onto there, I can put a colour in it, that sort of thing. So that's where those parts of the information are. Now the other thing is that when I, as I draw, we can see as I'm drawing this lines going out here, I've got two boxes down the bottom here for length and angle, uh, and the length and angle are, are shown as well as I'm drawing. Uh, I can close that shape. We can change the way that's displayed by up here, this is customize, we can do customize there or we can do tools, customize here, same thing. And at the moment it's showing input fields. So place fields at the wind at the bottom of the window. And we saw they were down the bottom of the window. If I select place fields near the cursor, which a lot of AutoCAD users have been more used to, you'll see now that they are. Oops, sorry, what did I do wrong? You'll see now that those those boxes are at uh, next to the cursor, and I can tab into those. And move those around and change them from there. Or as it say, angle 60. If I type in 90, you'll see what's happening. It's going straight up. Hit return, and that's where it is. So if I want to come along here, 8, I just go type in 8, tab, and the angle will be 0. Hit return. So I can do that sort of thing. So that's in customize, um, and I can turn those fields off completely. And you can play around with all these things where we'll show dynamic dimensions. But we're not going to get into that now. We're just doing an introduction here. Personally, I prefer them down the bottom left or really not to be shown at all. I don't really care about that. That's how we select those. Um, some people like to see the coordinates, the, uh, the uh, coordinate system. That's in options and um, up here. In, uh, I think it's in desktop, no it's in preferences. Show world coordinates or show user coordinates. If we show the world coordinates uh, they will appear down the bottom left here. Uh, moving around the screen obviously we've got a, a wheel mouse going in and out. 
but also if we push down on the wheel mouse we'll take the whole thing around with us. Uh, you'll notice this is in inches, I didn't bother changing it to millimeters, I showed you how to do that before, we can customize those at any time. If I want to select something, if I want to select say this box, if I left click here and keep my finger down and take that across, and take my finger off, it's selected that box. Now you see it selected everything that was completely inside that box. So if I want to select this box here, this rectangle, if I do that, although I, I'm going over some other shapes, I'm not selecting them because it's only selecting everything that's completely inside. If I come from the right, however, it will select everything that I'm touching. And you can see what it's selected with the double line. So if I just wanted that box, I could just do that. So different ways of selecting. Um, other ways of finding out information about objects are to select them and to right click and go to properties. And here we've got some general stuff we can put some information on, we can put some information we can about the, the layers if we want to put them on the dimension, if we want to put this on the dimension layer we can do that. We can change the type of line it is to perhaps to that, change the colour of it if we wish to here, make it blue. Brush, we can give it a fill if we wish here. And the angle, this is the angle, see the angle is going this way, if we change the angle we can make it go the other way around. 3D we're not dealing with at the moment and uh, custom we're not going to be dealing with at the moment. So, um, I didn't change any of those, did I? I probably didn't hit OK, I probably just closed it down. So, general pen, let's give it a, and say OK. And it's a dotted line, you see. So, that's how we can change things. Um, the other thing is the blocks library. Now, you may remember from the first, um, the first uh, tutorial that in options and um, drawings, drawings here now where are they, it's uh, auto naming, here if we say insert blocks when creating, when we create a block, when we put a block in here, the block will stay out there as well. So if I show you how that one works, if I select a block here, take it in there, immediately this comes up, asks me for a name, uh, I'll call it one, Okay, there it is, it's called one in there. I can write, I can uh, click onto it at any point. Now, if I didn't have that uh, box ticked, um, when I brought that in, this would have disappeared. I can bring it out again, it's not a problem. And obviously with blocks, with editing blocks, I simply go to EC, which stands for edit content. Here's my edit. I change whatever I want in the block, go to the uh, finish edit content and that's changed my, uh, it's edited my block. And that is the, the end really of the second introduction without going into too many details about the uh, how all the tools work, just a general, uh, a general overview of, of how DoubleCAD works.